Hi everyone, my name is Megan and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to um, be talking about Copic markers. Yay! In my last video, I talked all about my Ohu brush markers. This kind of made me want to talk about my Copic markers because markers. So today I will be going over everything I know about Copic markers. We are going to start off with, I'm just going to grab two markers. Copic actually has three different kinds of markers. I only have two of them because they're the ones that I want. Um, they have the Copic Chow, the Copic Classic, and the most popular the Copic Sketch. The Copic Chow and the Copic Sketch are basically the same. Let me just open them. They have the same nibs, but as you can see, the Copic Chow is just a tiny bit smaller and it's obviously round because it's a little smaller than the Copic Sketch. This makes the Chow a little bit cheaper. Copic Classic has a chisel on one end and a fine point on the other, so um, the Copic Classic does not have a brush, which is why I don't have them. <laughs> Copic sketch markers can range anywhere from $5 to $8, depending on when you get them. At Flick, they're actually about $5.85, which is the cheapest that I've found them. And uh, I don't know the range for Copic Chows, but I think they are about 3 to $5, depending on where you get them. So, oh my gosh. So they are a little cheaper, and then the Copic Classics, I don't even know how much those are, but I think they're about $6. Another thing about Copics is that the Copic Sketches have a 358 color range, and the Copic Chows have a 180 color range, I'm pretty sure. So part of the cost of Copic markers is just, I guess, in the quality? I don't really know why they're so expensive, but they are. So part of the cost probably goes to Copic ink refills. This is the old retired version of their ink, but um, this is probably the one most people have. They actually changed it from various ink to Copic ink, I believe. This was only about $7 and it has a lot of ink in it. Part of the cost of a Copic marker, this is the same color, goes towards the refills. Like, so what I mean by that is that yes, you pay five to eight dollars per marker, depending on where you get it, but then you can go and buy various ink or the ink refills and fill your marker up four or five times, like fully up four or five, six, seven times, depending on if you have the chow copic or, or <laughs> but depending on whether you have the chow sketch or classic they all take different amounts of ink but if you were to fill it fully up you would have like five or six of i think of these uh, or you can get five or six refills out of this one if you fill it, fill it fully up i didn't fill my marker fully up i just am going like little by little i'm not adding that much because i don't want to overfill it and um copic also offers nib replacements so you can basically reconstruct your whole marker it's just the base that you can't get replaced <laughs> that rhymed so that kind of brings the cost of them down when you really think about it. And another thing about the Copic is the color range. I'm sure everybody knows about the insane color range and insane color code that Copic has. As you can see, they each um, marker is separated into categories. So there's blue violet, which is BV, violet, B, red violet, um, red, yellow, red, yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, blue, and then earth tones. And they also have neutral, uh, warm, cool, and toner grays. And then they have a line of fluorescence colors, which is like fluorescent pink, purple, orange, all those. And they also have this black, special black and a colorless blender. So all of that totals 
to 358 markers for the Copic sketch. And again, not every single color is carried. Oh, hi Bella. Carried in the Chow and the Classic. Only every single color is in the Copic sketch. Still, there's a lot of colors offered for both the, <laughs> the Chow and the um, Classic. Also, if you notice, each one has numbers after it. So, the color code, so normal for a lot of the markers, let me just get, for a lot of the markers is only two numbers. So like there's the letter and then two numbers. The first number is saturation on a scale from zero to nine so this one is a two so it's not very saturated and then the number this one is um crap i can't remember the word this one is the intensity so as you can see this one is only at a one intensity so it is not very saturated and not very intense but if you take any of these ones that are like quadruple zero and triple zero that means that they're basically non-existent. <laughs> so I have, a, I think this is, oh, I have two of the um, quadruple zeros and they are also some of the lightest I have. So that is pale thistle and that is floral white. So they are very, very light and that is what makes what well, that's part of the reason that copic is so good because you can't get these types of colors really in the end with any other marker so another way to buy copic markers is in sets i usually don't buy these sets because i i'm at an awkward place where i don't have um like every single marker obviously but i also usually will have at least one in the sets and i try to avoid that i do have tender pink but it is in a sketch or a chow marker no. i have it in the copic chow but my, one of my main goals is to get every single copic sketch marker so i'm fine with that so today I got this set, which is the floral favorites, but I've also gotten the Sea and Sky set a couple months ago. So normally these are like 55 bucks, which I mean is a lot, at least where um, I am. Or like they're at $55 where I am. I've seen various prices depend on like in different places. If you search hard enough, you'll find that a lot of times they go on sale so today when i got this set it was only it was 40 percent off so it was only about 33 dollars or 32 dollars or something like that so i mean that's still a lot of money but if you look hard enough you can find them cheaper so i wanted to swatch these just to kind of yeah um so in this set there is R01 pinkish vanilla. So I'm just gonna show you how I like to do my color stuff. So first I always sketch it, or sketch it, I always swatch it in my sketchbook because I do a lot of, or I used to, I used to really do a lot of work, but now I don't so much. Um, but I still like to have it in my sketchbook just so it's there. And then I also swatch it on my master list basically. So I'm running out of room on this one, which kind of sucks, but I'll just redo it at some point. So also, like I mentioned, this set also has RV13, or Tender Pink, RV69, Peony, V05, Azalea, YG41, Pale Cobalt Green, and YG45, Cobalt Green. So, did I say pale? I don't remember saying pale. This one's pale cobalt green and this one's cobalt green. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the rest of these and we'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and put my markers in the case, which it looks weird every time I get new markers because I move my 
I moved my or I moved my Copic showers out every time to make room for my sketch because I like to have my sketches all just like this and then I have my showers in color order as well. So yeah, this is my um these are all my Copic sketch markers right here. Some of them are missing because I decided what I was going to draw while I was doing it. I'm not going to move my Copic Chow case because every time I do, they end up falling out, but here I'm going to move it. So here's my Copic Chow case. One is missing as well. This is what they look like together. This is a 72 holder, and then this one holds 60, but obviously that's not 60 marker. I made a character. Um, a couple months ago, I think it was like August. No, oh, September. Oh. I made this character, and her name is Mandy. And I made her with mostly Copic markers. So I was like, what if I just draw her for this video? Here are her colors. Um, this one is an Ovo marker. That's what I used to shade her skin with. And then this is... This one. I'm going to do a sketch. I don't really know this one. I think I'm going to sketch pencil, which I also drew her today, right here, she's a very sassy person, Okay, so I went through and did the sketch. I think the neck is a little long, but we're fine. <laughs> Today I'm going to be using these two microns to align it. Yeah, both of these, again, are in 0 0.1, like I've mentioned. And basically, and basically in the video, I like 0 0.01, and I like working with 0 0.1 because it's small. But you can also build up the pawn and it's not too small. Like always. Where did my right here? I'm gonna take and lighten the sketch. I'm gonna take my needed eraser. Oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> so for the face, I'm gonna use the pink and then for like the hair and stuff, I'm going to use the um, some stuff about Copic. Uh, I just, I don't know like if I should, if I need to, because like a lot of people know about Copic, but I guess there are some people uh, who don't know like really a lot about markers or Copics or whatever. So I guess I will talk a little bit about Copic. Um, Copic Copics are alcohol based markers, which basically mean that they blend better, they layer, <laughs> they're better than water based pens. No offense if you use water based pens, I just have 
just don't really like them just because they're just not for me and yeah alcohol based markers I feel like are really easy to use um just personally because I started with markers at the beginning of quarantine and I feel like I learned a lot of stuff pretty fast without like like without like trying to I feel like it's pretty easy to just like um, I use my focus markers the same as my oval markers so I'm not gonna like focus I talked a lot about alcohol based markers in a few videos before. So, um, this is the sound a copper marker makes when it's about empty. try to power through as much as I can with this. Um, we're gonna have to do it, we're gonna have to do it, we're gonna have to do it. So um, what I'm probably going to end up doing soon is just buying a new marker. <laughs> Again, like I said, I'm trying to get all of the Copic sketch markers. So what I said I'm going to do for all of my gel markers is wait until they are empty and then just buy a sketch or buy the sketch version of just for Why do I, why did I do that? Okay, okay this one, okay this one has a little bit more ink in it, I'm just gonna the best at this point. Um, by the way, you can use the chisel nib to blend, it's just a little harder. It's huge, and I can't even can see what I'm doing. This is lovely. Yeah, usually it doesn't look like this, usually it does look like better um but my marker is deciding to be like you know what i was fine <laughs> but now i'm going to be empty okay um i'm gonna grab blush color which is this one for her so um like i mentioned Mandy is like, um, my little sassy girl. That's my shit. As a sign of the I haven't, like... Oh, I just covered all of it. No more to pick this color. One of my favorite colors, by the way. And then start layering up the eyebrows. Because I usually have to layer these up a and then I think it's this color and this color for her eyes. And then this color for the lips. Now I'm going to take Cool Beret, which 
shade in our balls. And this oh this brush. This poor brush. <laughs> so her hair is actually my favorite part of her. Which it is these two. First I start off by going over or going with the layer of the bisque. And this is why I love the brush tip because you can do these like little motions. And this is also why I prefer um, the Copic brush because it's a lot more flickable. Yeah, the beauty of alcohol juice markers with this um, is that I'm going to take the other color and go right over this and then they're gonna blend together and they're gonna be yucky. She actually wouldn't look that bad with blonde hair, but it was scared. Now I'm just gonna go over. I'm not fully covering the blonde, but I'm a very majority of it. So I also thought I would talk about how I acquired so many public numbers. Um, so, I actually went eBay shopping, <laughs> so basically I would just look up Copic, and under Copic you get hundreds of search results, um, and for every thousands of thousands of results, you can find one good one. Which it's a, it's very, um, it's not a, always a very efficient way to get Copic markers because not everybody is selling Copic markers, so you really have to find a good deal. And um, if I found a, if I would find a good enough deal, I would go and make sure to check the reviews on the seller, which is a big thing because of obviously a lot of. People are going to scam you, not a lot, but some people might scam you. So I'd always check reviews on the seller, check shipping because they may put it at a low price, but have shipping be like extreme. And if everything like checks out, then yeah, you should do it. But um, it is out actually really hard to find good deals and it takes hours and hours of looking and um, trust me when I was first getting into Copic markers I spent hours on eBay just going and just looking and trying to find deals which I haven't been doing recently because I just haven't really needed to honestly But I've gotten a set of 15 off of, e off of eBay. I got some of my white, my yellow reds off of eBay. And I got a set of um, earth tones. So like some of the ones that I, that I found were actually brand new. So they were just they were just sellers because there's a lot of sellers on eBay and most of the sellers actually have really good prices so I'd definitely look out for that. Yeah, there's a lot of like certified um, sellers on there. I got a sign up and sign Pete today. What's the date? Which one's second? So yeah. Copic markers, are they worth the hype? This is not the best example. And, um, I have, I didn't, I haven't really done anything in this. Well, usually she looks like that, so usually it's a little bit better. I haven't really done any, like, actual Copic stuff in here. Um, but yeah, it only looks kind of weird because, um, it's, the markers are really drying. Markers, like, literally dead. I can try to go over it again to kind of... Usually it looks a lot, the skin looks a lot better, but I use this color a lot. So yeah, 
that's why I like Copic markers just because I can like a marker a lot and then get like a refill or buy it separately but like with a who you can't just go out and buy another marker you have to buy a set that's why I like Copic so much um, they are very expensive and I know that that's why I I'm very thankful for what I have. This is Mandy. I love her a lot. And I love my Copix a lot. And um, I have a hard time recommending these markers because they are so expensive. And I mean, if it's what you're looking for and if you're willing to put a little bit of money into it to get a collection going, then totally go for it. But if you don't even know, if you like markers, definitely go over to my Ohu marker video, which is just the last video, and find out if you want Ohu markers, because that is a good option to start with. Uh, I recommend Copics, obviously they're amazing, just, just, I don't, like, I don't know, like, it, it's a, it's a hard, like, I have a hard time recommending, because they are $8. <laughs> So, if it's something that you're looking for, then yes, totally get Copics. If it's something that you're wanting, yes, get Copics. Because they will not disappoint you. <laughs> At least for me, they have not been disappointing. And But just, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is a little short and a little weird. But, um, I just wanted to talk about the markers a little bit. So yeah, again, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them the, to the best of my abilities. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!